Good Monday morning. This is Kent Blaylock with STG Bible Study. That's the Soli Deo Gloria Bible Study. Coming to you on this Monday morning as we continue reading God's Word in a blended fashion. This morning we will be in 1 Samuel 30 and 31, chapters 30 and 31, and then 1 Timothy chapter 4. So three chapters to read this morning. So let's get into God's Word. First Samuel chapter 30. Now when David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day, the Amalekites had made a raid against the Negev and against Ziklag. They had overcome Ziklag and burned it with fire and taken captive the women and all who were in it, both small and great. They killed no one but carried them off and went their way. And when David and his men came to the city, they found it burned with fire and their wives and sons and daughters taken captive. Then David and the people who were with him raised their voices and wept until they had no more strength to weep. David's two wives also had been taken captive. Hanoam of Jezreel and Abigail, the widow of Nabal of Carmel. And David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because all the people were bitter in soul, each for his sons and daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar the priest, the son of, Ahim of Ahimelech, bring me the ephod. So Abiathar brought the ephod to David. And David inquired of the Lord, shall I pursue after this band? Shall I overtake them? He answered him, pursue, for you shall surely overtake and shall surely rescue. So David set out and the 600 men who were with him, and they came to the brook Bezor, where there were those who were left behind stayed. But David pursued he and 400 men, 200 stayed behind, who were too exhausted to cross the brook Bezor. They found an Egyptian in the open country and brought him to David, and they gave him bread, and he ate. They gave him water to drink. They gave him a piece of, of a cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit revived, for he had not eaten bread or drunk water for three days and three nights. And David said to him, said to him, To whom do you belong, and where are you from? He said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant to an Amalekite, and my master left me behind because I fell sick three days ago. We had made a raid against the Negev of the Carathites, and against that which belongs to Judah, and against the Negev of Caleb, and we burned Ziklag with fire. And David said to him, Will you take me down to this band? And he said to him, and he said, Swear to me by God that you will not kill me or deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will take you down to this band. And when, and when he had taken him down, behold, they were spread abroad all over all the land, eating and drinking and dancing, because of all the great spoil they had taken from the land of the Philistines and from the land of Judah. David struck them down from twilight until the evening of the next day, and not a man of them escaped except 400 young men who mounted camels and fled. David recovered all that the Amalekites had taken, and David rescued his two wives. Nothing was missing, whether great or small, sons or daughters, spoil or anything that had been taken. David brought back all. David also captured all the flocks and herds, and the people drove the livestock before him, and they said, This is David's spoil. Then David came to the 200 men who had been too exhausted to follow David and who had been left at the brook Bezor. And they went out to meet David and to meet the people who were with him. And when David came near to the people, he greeted them. Then all the wicked and worthless fellows among the men who had gone with David said, Because they did not go with us, we will not give them any of the spoil that we have recovered, except that each man may lead away his wife and children and depart. But David said, You shall not do so, my brothers. With what the Lord has given us, he has preserved us and given into our hand the band that came against us. Who would listen to you in this matter? For as his share, who, for as his share is, is who goes down into battle, so shall his share be who stays by the baggage. They shall share alike. And he made a statute and a rule for Israel from that day forward to this day. When David came to Ziklag, he sent part of the spoil to his friends, the elders of Judah, saying, Here is a present for you from the spoil of the enemies of the, of the Lord. It was for those in Bethel, in Ramoth, 
of the Negev and Jadar and Aror and Sifmoth and Eshtemoah and Rachel and the cities of the Jeremalites and the cities of the Kenites and Horma and Boration and Attic and Hebron for all the places where David and his men had roamed. Chapter 31 Now the Philistines were fighting against Israel, and the men of Israel fled before the Philistines and fell slain on Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines overtook Saul and his sons, and the Philistines struck down Jonathan and Abinadab and Malchashua, the sons of Saul. The battle pressed hard against Saul, and the archers found him, and he was badly wounded by the archers. Then Saul said to his armor-bearer, Draw your sword and thrust me through with it lest these uncircumcised come and thrust me through and mistreat me. But his armor bearer would not, for he feared greatly. Therefore Saul took his own sword and fell upon it. And when his armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he also fell upon his sword and died with him. Thus Saul died and his three sons and his armor bearer and all his men on the same day together. And when the men of Israel who were on the other side of the valley and those beyond the Jordan saw that the men of Israel had fled and that Saul and his sons were dead, they abandoned their cities and fled and the Philistines came and lived in them. The next day when the Philistines came to strip the slain, they found Saul and his three sons fallen on Mount Gilboa. So they cut off his head and stripped it off his armor and sent messengers throughout the land of the Philistines to carry the good news to to the house of their idols and to the people. They put his armor in the temple of Ashtaroth and they, and they fastened his body to the wall of Bethshan. But when the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead heard what the Philistines had done to Saul, all the valiant men arose and went all night and took the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Bethshan. And they came to Jabesh and burned them there. And they took their bones and buried them under the tamarisk tree in Jabesh and fasted seven days. Now to 1 Timothy chapter 4. Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith by, de by devoting themselves to de deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared, who forbid marriage and require abstinence from foods that God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is made holy by the word of God and prayer. If you put these things before the brothers, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus, being trained in the words of, of the faith and of the good doctrine that you have followed, having nothing to do with irreverent, silly myths. Rather, train yourself for godliness. For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance. For to this end we toil and strive, because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. Command and teach these things. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to, ex to exhortation, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy with the council of elders laid there, when the council of elders laid their hands on you. Practice these things. Immerse yourself in them so that all may see your progress. Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this, for by doing, you will save both yourself and your hearers. And that's going to conclude our reading from God's Word this morning as we read in 1 Samuel 30 and 31 and in 1 Timothy 4. Uh, in 1 Samuel, we saw the 
taking of uh, the people captive uh, by the Amalekites, David's pursuit of them and re recovery. Uh, but we also see in 31 the, the death of Saul and, and his sons and Jonathan, which is going to uh, break the heart of David. And then here in 1 Timothy, we just see further instruction given to Timothy by Paul uh, and how we're to live this life and not devote ourselves to foolish teachings and silly myths and, uh, you know, not follow after this false teachings that lead to a, an idea that uh, our efforts somehow make us right with God when it's faith in Christ alone. I hope you will have a blessed day today. Enjoy this Monday as we start a new work week and give God the glory in it. Soli Deo Glory.